Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for stopping by the new channel. You know the deal, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, uh, and then I'm gonna ask you some questions that hopefully you'll comment down below. But this is the new channel, it's gonna be myself and my friend Nick. Hey Nick, Nick's not here because I'm filming this video real quick in my driveway just so we can get a video up so I can link to it from my other channel, my main channel, Last Line of Defense. So this is just the first video, it's gonna be a random one. I'm gonna be talking about this mounting setup on my Diamondback. But before I get into that, I wanna hear from you. This channel is gonna be for mountain biking only. But that means it can be for gear reviews, bike reviews, trail rides, trail reviews, bike packing, how gear kind of fits into the whole overlanding thing, thoughts, talking, whatever. It's probably gonna be some e-bike specific content because I'm into e-bikes even though this isn't an e-bike. And my friend Nick is really into e-bikes as well. But just kind of everything mountain bike related. We live in Colorado, which is a great place to mountain bike. So we will talk about, you know, some Colorado centric stuff as well. But I wanna hear from you. Let me know down below in the comments specifically what you would love to see videos on. We may even do more videos on my backyard trail, which if you don't know what that is, click this video up here. And I built, built, I'm, I'm building really kind of like a little trail in my backyard, so. Yeah, that'll be fun. So yeah, let me know. You'll meet Nick in the next video, probably. He's gonna be the guy that's primarily gonna be running this channel. He's never had a YouTube channel, but he's seen me do YouTube stuff. And he was like, oh, you should do some more bike stuff. And I was like, I don't really wanna do it on my main channel, but if you wanna start and run a channel, I will help you with it. So that's, that's this channel. Yeah, cool. All right, let's get into this thing. So what you see back here is a Diamondback truck cover with front runner racks and a rooftop tent on it. What's also on it, obviously, is, is a bike with a fork rack. So this is a through axle fork mount, which I'll show you some close-ups in a bit, and a little rear tire holder. Now this setup, I don't, I don't love it. It's kind of a temporary solution. I'll usually just throw my bike in the back, but if I need to bring two bikes, for instance, or if I got something in the back and need to put a bike on, then I'll use this as kind of my backup bike solution. It looks, looks really cool, and it fits with my rooftop tent on there still, so that is awesome. So I'm gonna show it to you, but just a quick disclaimer. I won't be using this for very long because I'm getting sent a prototype mount uh, that I'll tell you more about in the future because there's not really a website out for it yet and it's kind of keeping it on the down low until he's perfected the prototype and ready to take orders. But I'll be testing the prototype and it's something that will work with or without a diamond back, but it will work with like other soft tops and other tonneau covers, but it's gonna come out here and basically be a rack here. So it's gonna bring this out and down a little bit, which is gonna solve a lot of the issues that you're gonna see here where my pedal's kind of in the way and this stuff and this rack. It's not a perfect solution. So I'll show you this, but just know before you go crazy on this setup, there's gonna be a new setup that's better out soon. But if you just wanna do this super simple one, I'll show you what it is. So up here is just a cheapy through axle mount that I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below, but this is basically just bolted right into the diamond back cover, as you can see here. So these bolts just go through, so I had to drill two holes in the cover right here, and you can see I have it offset as far to the edge as it can safely go. So it's actually hanging off the edge a little bit. Uh, if you don't like that aesthetically, you can obviously move it to the edge, but I wanted to get everything out this way as much as possible. So that is why it's kind of overhanging a little bit because I needed some clearance here for the tent. I do have to push the tent over so it's not central centered on the bed. And it wasn't centered on the bed anyways because I had these Max Trax mounts here. But the further over you can come, the more room it gives for your rooftop tent and everything. So this pedal needs to be down, obviously, otherwise it'll hit this. And then on the rear, I have this quick fist. It's a really big one. I'll link this down below as well. And this is mounted with a bolt into this front runner channel here. So this isn't awesome because this can kind of 
bounce around a little bit because it's not fully on the cover. If you mounted it directly to the cover, it might be a little better. Some of the other things that are a little bit weird here is this is big enough for a tire. This is a 29, uh, I believe it's a 2.4. Uh, it'll fit, you can see there's a couple of rungs here, so it can fit a little bigger. Actually, 2.35 says right there. So it'll fit a little bit bigger, but this setup probably won't fit a fat tire. You could use some different tie-down straps or whatever for the, for the rear tire, but this is what I decided to do. Some things you need to note is your derailleur needs to be forward. So you need to be in your biggest gear here. So that way it takes up all the chain slack and pushes that forward. You probably know how that works. Uh, but if you're in another gear, then you may run into issues with this hitting. You can obviously just bend it forward, but then your, ch your chain will be slack and dangling. The other thing is this is so close here that this spoke would hit. So I have to orient it to where the outer spoke lines up with this. Sorry, having some weird focus issues. So it dodges that. And then for me specifically, since I have these Max Trax mount pins, I do need to make sure this will go through the spoke, otherwise it'll hit that. So with the tent, you can see we got a little bit of clearance here, but not a ton. And that's the setup. So I can actually fit inside of my eight foot garage with this mounted on when I move the seat down, the seat's up right now just because I didn't collapse it. But with the seat down on this setup, I can actually drive with my pretty big Tacoma on 35s with this mounted on the bed rack. So that is one nice thing. It doesn't make it crazy tall. Uh, and that is, that's it. So yeah, pretty random, quick and easy first video that I just wanted to get on this channel real quick. Uh, but that does answer that question. But again, thank you so much for stopping by. Get subscribed and do, for real, just take a second out of your day, hit that thumbs up button obviously, but comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. Or if you're just like stoked to be here, just say stoked that you are starting a mountain bike channel because I love getting on two wheels. So yeah. All right. Share it with your friends. If you have any mountain biking buddies that like hate overlanding and wouldn't subscribe to my other channel, then send them here because this is going to be all bikes all the time. All right. I don't know what my sign off for this channel should be, but I'll just do the same one until next time, guys. Take care.